Okay, so let's say we need to find the area and perimeter of this semicircle. So we know the area for the whole circle is given by the formula pi r squared. Okay, so pi r squared is the area for the whole circle. So if I only need half of it, then I'm going to divide that answer by 2. So that would be pi times by the radius squared. Now, if the diameter is 20, then the radius is 10, half of that. So 10 squared, and then I'm going to divide my answer by 2. So with the calculator, pi times 10 squared is 314.159, da 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 da. Divide that by 2, and you get 157.1 um, metres squared to one decimal place. Okay, so should get 157.1 metres squared to one decimal place, and that is the area of the semicircle. If we need the perimeter, then the perimeter is going to be given by the circumference of the whole circle, because we can work that out, but we only need half of it. And that's just going to find me the bit around the outside, the curved section. I'm also going to need to add on 20 for the straight section. So I'm going to have the circumference of the circle, it's pi d, or 2 pi r, so I'm going to use pi times the diameter, plus the diameter. So I've got pi times 20, oh sorry, I'm going to have to divide that by 2. Divide that by 2, because I only want half the circumference, and then I can add on the diameter. So pi times 20 gives me the length of the whole circumference. Divide that by 2 gives me this half, and then add on the diameter. So I've gone, that's the half circle, then I've got the diameter of the circle. So I've got pi times 20, then divide that by 2, you should get 31.4159 for that bit. Add on 20, so all together we have 51.4 metres to one decimal place. And notice the units, it's metres there because we're working with the perimeter, metres squared here because we're working with the area. And that's how we can work out the area and the perimeter for this semicircle.